begin with a violent criminal walking free while the woman he terrorized decades ago fears for her life. I mean, I'm in fear for my life. My kids are in fear for my life. It's not fair. Why do I have to be in prison now? Why do I have to keep living like this? That woman's ex-husband, once serving a 125-year-to-life sentence, was released early because of the pandemic. CBS 13's Marley Ginter talked with her today and joins us with more on why he was let go in the first place. Marley. And Elizabeth and Tony, that is the million dollar question right now. We're talking about a man with a violent history, serving 125 years to life in prison after only serving about a quarter of that. It's just not fair, it's not just, you know, where's my justice? My life matters too. Teresa Esparza fears for her life. I mean, he threatened people's lives. He, he was terrorizing us. My kids were afraid of him. They're still afraid of him. They're afraid for me. That's why she asked us not to show her face. Her ex-husband, 65-year-old Santiago Cruz, hasn't seen her in 20 years, and she doesn't want him to see what she looks like now. Now I have to watch my back. I have to live in prison now because now he's released. Cruz, convicted for armed robbery, trying to burn Esparza's house down while she slept and at one point threatening to rape and kill her boyfriend's daughter while he watched. All that, but now he's free in an effort to keep the prison population down to limit the spread of COVID-19. Dangerous, violent people are being released and there's nothing you can do about it. Melinda Aiello, Assistant Chief Deputy District Attorney in Yolo County, says the lack of transparency on who's getting released and when is not acceptable. How could this happen? Well, that's a, a really good question, um, and it's a question that we've been asking. Aiello says neither the governor's office nor the Department of Corrections has a clear answer, saying the DA's office is getting little to no notices on releases, ultimately leaving victims like Esparza no time to prepare. Criminals' rights are trouncing all over victims. And that just has to stop, or we have to do it a better way, or at least, again, allow victims' voices to be heard. I mean, I'm in fear for my life. My kids are in fear for my life. It's not fair. Why do I have to be in prison now? Why do I have to keep living like this? Now, neither the governor's office nor the Department of Corrections returned my calls today. And just to be clear, these are not temporary releases. For example, Cruz is right now free and out. He is on parole, meaning that if he violates that parole, that would be the only time that he would actually go back to prison. But even then, it would not be under the same life sentence that he was serving.